Hello, my loves. We are going to be making Gordon Ramsay's Beef Wellington. Yeah. It's going to be, and it's mostly going to be this gentleman. We're going to try. We're giving it. We're going to give it the try. old school try. So we're going to start. Grandma's going to put her around and start doing stuff, and I'm going to start chopping up the filling for it. So we have these glorious chestnuts, and then also some chef special mushrooms. So this is going to be part of the filling of the Wellington. So let's get to chopping. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me. Okay, everybody, so here we are. We have our filet mignon, our beef tenderloin right there. Gonna salt and pepper that in a moment. Then we have our puff pastry ready to assemble once we get everything mm -hmm. going. And then some salt and pepper here. This is salt that Janice has in her little shaker and some pepper. A beer for cooking, so you know, gotta. Got to take care of ourselves. It is Christmas yep. after all. Um, over here I have my pan that I'm going to sear the Wellington in. We have our cling wrap right over here. A little glad cling. A puff pastry that didn't want to unfoil itself, but the, it happen, baby. the other one will be fine. Some ingredients for our sauce that we're going to do. And then, yeah, so we're going to get into it. Okay. I'm so excited. Yay. Okay, so Gordon recommends. Gordon recommends putting in some thyme. So this is two of the mushrooms and then the chestnuts in here, really finely chopped. And then he just recommends pulling some thyme into here. But I love the smell of fresh herb. Herbs. Fresh herbs. Yes. We have to have our our English. English accents on. Yeah. Herbs. Herbs. Oh, she was giving me a little bit of thyme. There we go. Yeah. You just gotta you gotta pull towards the. Gotta base. pull towards the base. <laughs> smell of fresh thyme. So a little combine. A little combined. This is like very satisfying to deal with like finely chopped things like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells so good. It smells so good. I'm like, I'm okay. so excited. Yes. And then we're gonna salt and pepper the tenderloin. That was a strange accent. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> salt and pepper. That's a little better. Ew, I can always do a British accent. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Okay. okay, a little salt, pepper in here. Ooh. Get on in it. Ooh! Some very fine pepper. Yum. We're just gonna massage that in there really quick. Oh yeah, give that beef some sure, massage. Make sure those ends get it too. Yum. Um, then we're gonna sear this off. Sear it off. So it gets that nice crust on the outside. Yes, quite. Yes. And a very hot pan, and mm -hmm. we're gonna add the olive oil. And then we're gonna sear this quickly to lock in all of the goodness on each side. Yum. Woo! Hear that. And the Ramsey tip is that you put it up to the side. Uh huh. So that it kind of. Let sears. the oil go. Mm hmm. The Ramsey tip. <laughs> Chef tip. <laughs> Ooh, I already see that sear coming. I overly cook it right now. Nice. The butt. <laughs> Gotta sear the butt. It looks like right down here could use a little bit more. Okay, then now we put our mixture of mushrooms and chestnuts and thyme over here. And what we do is we want to get the water out of this. So we're going to let it do its thing for a little while and just get that excess water out. Next step was laying out this gorgeous prosciutto onto the puff pastry. So this looks so beautiful and layered. I also got to sneak some prosciutto bites and we're never mad at that. I'm sneaking one right now. Oh, excuse now. me, I get a full sheet too, sir. It's my sheet. Yum. Phone. <laughs> Chef Gordon Ramsay tips. So we added a little uh, pepper to the parma ham. To the parma is, ham. The prosciutto de parma. The prosciutto de parma. And then we're going to now just put our lovely um, mushroom and chestnut mixture onto it. This is like the little stuffing portion. Mm. Gorgeous. And it's all sitting on top of this cling wrap because that's. We'll show you how you actually put it all together. 
beautiful honey. A little too much, but I think we made the perfect, perfect amount. amount. Ooh. And then I'll spread it all around mm -hmm. and tamp it all down so it's all nice and tight. Yes. How gorgeous that looks. It smells amazing. And we also coated this in Dijon mustard. And now we're going to roll it up like a little happy baby in a blanket. <laughs> so right here I have all my smashed potatoes. They're going to go in there. And now Graham over here, egg wash. Egg wash right now. And then you're going to score it. It looks so pretty. Our little loaf in a blanket. So yeah. good. What? Okay. Wow. Look at that pretty scoring. It's going to look so good. Yum. This is going in for how long? Uh, 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Let's see. And then it rests for how long? Uh, 10 minutes. Oh, so good. Here she is. Look at this beauty. <laughs> wow, honey. That's gorgeous. It looks so beautiful. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. That is gorgeous. Oh, it's getting away from me. Getting away, but it's gorgeous. Yum, honey, great job. Thank you. So here is the finished plate. Yum, doesn't it look amazing? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm so excited. So good. <laughs> Yay, cheers, everyone. Yes. <clears throat> cheers. Cheers to Graham. Gordon Wally, Gordon Wellington, Gordon, Gordon, Gordon Ramsey's people, Grammy. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.